Hi, my name is Brittany Lee, and I am a senior at the Cleveland School of Science and Medicine at John Hay in Cleveland. Brittany was born addicted. She was born, actually born an addict <laughs> child. My mother was um, doing drugs, so um, specifically uh, cocaine, crack cocaine. When I came out, they said I was tox positive. And normally when that happens, a child has some deficiencies. They said that um, I was either going to be deaf or retarded. But with Brittany, uh, that seemed to be not. You know, as if God just wiped them away, <laughs> you know. Here I am making straight A's and, you know, number one in my class. Um, I've always been really driven to do ex excel, exceed, um, be a high achiever. I live with my grandmother, like full time, so I saw my grandmother every day. Um, my mom would come around for like holidays and stuff. Her mother was always gone most of the time, and her grandmother uh, bore the burden of, you know, of raising her, of providing everything for her. My grandmother had like a little buggy cart, and we walk up to the food bank, the pantry they had, um, and we get like different canned goods and like beans and macaroni. We never really had to worry about like eating or anything. And even though she didn't have a lot of money, she um, she didn't really let it show. I think she was often a hurt, you know, as a child because her mother wasn't there, or she was told she was coming back at a certain time and she didn't. Coming home from school, not having my mother there was a bit difficult sometimes. Because, I mean, I, I always loved her. She's my mom, you know? Brittany would cry if, if she couldn't go to school. She loved school. First grade, kindergarten, like, since I can remember, I've always loved school. I don't, I mean, I like a challenge. I like to learn new things. She always brought good grades in, and we always praised her. We just praised her, and uh, she would come back and do better than before. When my teachers start, like, putting smiley faces and stars on my papers and everything, saying, good job, like, I felt that if they have an education and they are teachers and they think I'm smart, I must be smart. My grandmother, um, she got diagnosed with lupus at the age of 35. We all knew she was sick, but she was such a strong woman and she, she never really let her illness show. She had a seizure on her birthday. So it was September, two, September 24th, 2005. She just started shaking on my arm, like really violently. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. 911, what's your emergency? I called 911 and I told them my address and everything and they came pretty quickly. I was so scared, I was eight years old. It fueled my passion to learn more about medical everything because I didn't want to experience that again. I wanted to learn more about what was going on with her so that I could help um, because there's it's nothing worse than feeling helpless in a situation with somebody you love. My mother died when I was nine months over. Here I am with this child, um, a crack cocaine addict with a child. I really wanted her to be a part of my life always, so when the opportunity prevented itself, presented itself, I, you know, jumped on. I kind of suffocated her, and I think that had a whole lot to do with the, the shame, guilt, and remorse that was in me from neglecting her. I didn't know what she liked, what she didn't like. She didn't know what I liked, what I didn't like. So um, sometimes we'd clash. <laughs> Freshman year, um, I took a class called Principles of Biomedical Sciences at John Hay. And um, it was all about like the human body systems and the cardiovascular system really stuck out to me. I thought the heart was like this amazing muscle. And so I shadowed a cardiologist in University Hospital. And it was an amazing experience. I got to experience three open heart surgeries in the operating room. I didn't get queasy or squeamish or anything, so I figured that's a good sign. So that's pretty much what I want to do now. Um, I want to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. I'm going to be that mother that's on the Brittany Rara chain and push for it. This is what I worked all my life for, you know? So that's, that's what college is for for me. It's just... 
amazing to watch her work because, you know, she's not going to give up. I want to help people and have a degree, make myself feel good. <laughs>